definition of, of work means, but when I hear people like Robert B. Reich talk about workers, he's talking about worker bees, little ants, faceless people who go out and, and, uh, and do things. I think it's a very impersonal term. Uh, and, and I'm very, uh, very leery of when liberals start talking about how workers will benefit. Well, I work hard for my paycheck, and I don't get any hands do. out oh, I do too. entitlement. I do, too. I understand exactly what you're saying. I, I have a real problem with that word. Entitlement? Yes. Yes, so do I. It's an ugly word. Well, like contribution. Well, you know what we can do? We can just change entitlement to giveaway. Well, that's what it is. That's right. That's why they just call it a giveaway. It's a handout. Instead, uh, in, instead of calling uh, you know American corporations corporations, let's call them job producers, job creators. Yes. The job creators in America. What? Who are you talking about? Rush companies? No, no, companies are evil. No, they can't. They're not evil. That's where you get your job. No, companies are evil. The Democrats tell me so. We, I mean, we could go all day with this redefinition of, uh, of terms. Pittsburgh, Jeff, hello, welcome to the Rush Limbaugh program. Jeff, we'll put him on hold. There's another lesson we need to teach people, and that is to listen on the phones. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. You're listening to the EIB Network. <laughs> Hi, this is Rush Limbaugh. When you speak, people listen. And the words you use tell them about your education, your background, even your intelligence. Verbal Advantage, Achievement Dynamics' powerful vocabulary building course on audio cassette tape gives you the words you need to make your best impression. Carefully chosen power words that will give your vocabulary confidence in any situation. To learn more, call now, 1-800-28-TAPES. That's 1-800-28-T-A-P-E-S. One night, one shot, one million dollars. Don Calhoun made it at a Chicago Bulls game. A special edition of your portfolio recommends how he and you should invest for a richer future. Next on Money Talk, top entrepreneurs reveal how they've become successful. Everyone wants their shot at the dream. Don't miss these shows. CNBC presents an unprecedented cable TV event, Your Portfolio on Money Talk, Wednesday night, June 16th at 7 and 10 Eastern, only on CNBC. Call 1-800-SMART-TV for your cable channel. This is a special announcement. Orman's Furniture and Appliances is the largest independent GE and Amana dealer in Wayne and Johnston counties. Because of this, we must sell volume, bringing you the lowest prices in town. Now Orman's would like to become one of the largest furniture outlets. To accomplish this, we must lower prices. This change will be effective immediately. Prices have been lowered on name brands such as Bassett, Broyhill, Lane, Berkline, American Drew, and Simmons Bedding. Here's one example. Six-piece all-wood dining room suit for only $399 with table and five chairs. Orman's is offering no high-pressure sales pitch, no frills, no tricks, just one low price. If our price is not the lowest, we will pay you for your trouble for finding it elsewhere. Ask a salesperson for details. These prices will be offered from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Saturday. Cash, checks, Visa, and MasterCard are accepted. Financing is available. Shop Orman's Jewish location at 1204 North Berkeley in Goldsboro and Orman's in Smithville, Selma, Highway 301 and Orman's Plaza. You know your family likes to get together. You know it's only right. Good memories last forever When the work day ends And you're among friends You'll come back again Make every day A Caitlin's occasion Caitlin's and Cobblestone Place on Spencer Avenue Shriders help kids I'm Tony Valpentes And I was born without hands or feet but today, thanks to Shriners Hospital, I'm setting records in track and field. Shriners Hospitals for crippled children help kids under 18 with big and small orthopedic problems. The medical care is some of the finest in the world, and it's absolutely without cost. If you know somebody, Shriners Hospitals might be able to help. Call this number. 
Shriners Hospital, 1-800-237-5055. This is Rush Limbaugh on the Talk of the Town, 1150 WGBR. Back to the phones we go. Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network. I, of course, sitting here in the prestigious Attila the Hun chair of the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies, Judy, College Station, Texas. Hello. Hi, Rush. Hi, how Hello. are you? College Station. Thank you. This is the home of our George Bush Presidential Library. Thank you very much for calling. Um, I can't believe I got through. I'm so nervous. Um, I just wanted to comment about Roger Clinton's um, comments on you being a traitor. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that if that definition held true, then certainly our president must be labeled a traitor also. It, didn't he disagree with the leadership of his day? Let me, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's revisit Roger Clinton's words. We did this in the first half hour of the show. If you missed it today, Roger Clinton's been interviewed in Steppin' Out magazine, Chauncey Hayden did the interview. <clears throat> There's this question of Roger Clinton. He says, well, uh, Rush Limbaugh makes it no secret he thinks your brother shouldn't be president of the United States. Roger Clinton says, Limbaugh has no heart. He's not an American. All he wants to do is put the leader of America down every day. He's not even willing to compromise or support my brother in any fashion. Whenever you claim to be an American, then you publicly put down the leader of America, then that's a double standard, and you're not an American. You shouldn't even be able to claim that you're an American. And you sure shouldn't be allowed to have a television or radio show. That's an embarrassment. Can you imagine that his television show is taking up a valuable time slot that could be used to educate children? Instead, you get some fat pig on the TV that couldn't think his way out of a damn box of alphabet cereal. He's just a disgusting individual. Rush Limbaugh is a traitor. Whenever you're a part of a country and you don't support the leader, you're a traitor, period. And he's a traitor. Then let's get him the hell out. I am sick of it. That's Roger Clinton on me. Very, very, very erudite, reasoned, and articulate, wouldn't you say, uh, Judy? Well, I think... Number one, he obviously is, is uh, not an educated man, but um, ignorance is bliss, I suppose. Well, he's, uh, I think he's from the uh, Michael Lerner School of LSD Mind Expansion. And I, I you know, there's, there's uh, I guess, stuff you could say here, but this is pathetic. Because it's, I mean, it is what's it, it is not noteworthy in the sense that it needs to be intellectually refuted because it doesn't. It's, this is the president of the United States' brother uh, speaking, uh, and it, you're, you're right. I mean, it is, this the comments are founded in total ignorance. It would be it would be very beneath my dignity to respond substantively to this because it's unnecessary. Everybody knows uh, you know, how deficient whole thing is I just I'm I'm I it's funny interesting radio <laughs> laughable again the criticism or the jokes or whatever that, that people continue to launch this way there was a it's like Marv Albert's joke did you hear it, it mentioned this yesterday Marv Albert and he was just trying to be funny but that's the whole point. If you want to be funny, there's certain things that you have to do. Now, Marv Albert, on, on last Friday night's uh, Suns-Bulls game, I was interviewed by the lovely, the beautiful, the page boy cut Hannah Storm uh, early in the second quarter. And two minutes after my interview concluded, uh, Marv Albert said, you know, if Rush Limbaugh owned an NBA team, a traveling violation to get you five years in jail. And Mike Fratello, the czar of the Telestrator, didn't laugh. Marv was having to point it out to him why it was funny. The reason it wasn't funny is because it wasn't rooted in truth. 
It, and that's why what Roger Clinton says here is is so off the mark because there's not one shred of, of of truth to it. And I would I would think, you know, you people who are going to uh, you know be sincere critics uh, or or make jokes about it, you, you're going to have to find a way to discover the truth. And maybe maybe then you don't have criticism if you find the truth, and so you don't have any funny things to say or write. If that's the key to making your comments have some substance or weight. Uh, Judy, thanks for the call. That W-E-I-G-H-T. Tupelo, Mississippi. This is the home of Elvis and Jerry. Welcome to the Rush Limbaugh program. Hello, Rush. How are you, sir? I'm just fine, sir. Thank you. You bet. I just had a quick, very straightforward question because I know there's many people wanting to talk to you. We are flooded today from Washington with the word incentive. My question is, if we're rewarded for performance in our pursuit of excellence, what incentive does Congress have not to spend money or to spend it wisely? There is no incentive right now. In fact, the incentive is to do just the opposite. We've discussed this countless times. They derive their power from spending money. That's their job. The only incentive you can get is to structure their compensation based on how much money they actually save. Get them a, get them a percentage of how much money they actually save. And, and uh, make it a sizable percentage. Make it a very sizable percentage. It's kind of like you people have worked at major corporations where your boss gets a bonus based on the performance of the bottom line, the bottom line performance of his department. What's the what's the fastest way any department head has to make his bottom line look profitable? That's to cut your income or to limit the size of your raise or whatever. He's got to cut spending. These guys can't go out and just sell more products than they're than are in the pipeline. They just you know in a jiffy like this. And um, there, there are, I know several uh, managers, middle and upper level managers, who are compensated by virtue of, of uh, how much money they lop off the previous year's budget. And they're given a percentage of it. You try that with these guys and see, make, make their total comp uh, compensation, total comp no salary at all, zip. You're going to get a percentage of the amount you cut. <laughs> that would be interesting to watch. It would be real, real interesting to watch. You'd find a whole lot of things out that way. Jerry, thanks uh, thanks much for the call. Animal rights update in the next hour, Lobianco. We'll be back in a moment. You're listening to the EIB Network. <laughs> Okay, folks, Father's Day is coming up real soon, and you know I've got the perfect gift idea. Why don't you get your dad a copy of, or a subscription, actually, to my monthly newsletter, The Limbo Letter? You know how many dads would probably love to have one of these subscriptions? Look at what happened in the pursuit of one subscription. Thousands of people showed up in Fort Collins, Colorado. You don't have to go to Fort Collins, Colorado to get a subscription to Limbaugh Letter. All you have to do is make a phone call. 800-457-4141. You get one year, 12 issues, only $29.95. And there's an added bonus. If you order now, your subscription will include Lies, Lies, which is a report exposing the daily falsehoods of the Clinton administration, and it's free. It's thrown in free. It took us about five minutes to put together. That's all. Call now, 800-457-4141 for the Limbaugh letter. Get in on it. Tax, tag, dock, and $1,000 cap cost reduction or extra. If I told you that right now at Honda City in Goldsboro, there was a way you could drive a new 93 Honda Accord LX four-door for only $239 per month, would you be interested? If I told you that at Honda City, the Honda Accord has an automatic transmission, air conditioning, AM, FM stereo with cassette, rear window defogger, cruise control, and more, would you be interested? And if I told you that you only had to commit to pay the $239 per month for two short years, would you be interested? 
Well, all of this is true at Honda City here in Goldsboro. For a limited time, you can drive a new 93 Honda Accord LX four-door for only $239 per month. And commit for only two shares. So hurry to Honda City of Goldsboro and drive your new Honda Accord for only $239 per month. This offers for a limited time, so cars will be delivered to the consumer on a first-come basis. Honda City, Highway 7 East Bypass, Goldsboro. Honda Accord, $239 per month. Honda City, Goldsboro. Special restrictions apply. This week at the Pork King, the Hunna Pork Center, you'll find great savings on these quality pork products. Fresh picnics, 69 cents a pound. Freshly frozen pork loins, $1.79 a pound while they last. Fully cooked smoked hams, 99 cents a pound, sliced free. Liver pudding and chitlin loaves, buy one, get one free. And the Pork King has barbecue pigs for the picking. All sizes available daily. These specials and more are waiting for you at the Pork King, Nahana Pork Center, Highway 581, one mile west of Nahana School. Ooh-wee! Serial port parallel interface modem fax RS-232 AB. Switch your mouse, why? This is confusing! Well, stop by Aim Electronics. See the new line of computer accessories. QBS and AIM Electronics can make your computer connection simple. AIM Electronics has a new and expanded inventory of computer accessories. QBS with a complete line of computer accessories at competitive prices and AIM Electronics that you won't believe. QBS and AIM Electronics making the right connections for you. AIM Electronics 411 East Ashtree, Goldsboro. You're listening to the Rush Limbaugh Show on 1150 WGBR. A reminder, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday, and Judge Ginsburg is still the nominee for the United States Supreme Court. It has been 24 hours, and she's still the nominee. And you know, there is another great sign. I think finally... Someone has been appointed to a government post without first serving in the Children's Defense Fund. I have looked and I can find no record of this woman having served in the Children's Defense Fund. Now, she may have gone to a couple of dinners. She may have made some donations. She may have paid homage in some way that we don't know. But as far as I have been able to ascertain, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has not been on the board nor has she been president of the Children's Defense Fund. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a major departure for appointed positions in the judiciary in this country. Oh, come no, would you, would this, the question has just been put to me by one of my excited staff. Does this mean that Hillary is out? You're fantasizing about this, Bo. Every day, does this mean Hillary is... You're going to have to understand something. That she, Hillary is not out. Hillary will never be out in the sense that you mean it or hope or whatever. <sighs> oh, well. Here we go to Hudson, Florida. Leslie, hi, welcome to the Rush Limbaugh program. Hi, Rush. <laughs> dittos, uh, mega dittos, mega, you. mega dittos. <laughs> thank you, thank you very, very, and thank you much. Uh, we've been listening ever since we saw you on 60 Minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, that goes back a couple years now. Yeah, yeah, that's how we discovered you. Uh, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I was going to write you a letter, and then I thought today, well, I'll try picking up the phone, and I got through first try today. Um, what you were saying about Elizabeth Hilt last week. This is the uh, feminist who resides in the woods of Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen, whose, uh, whose, whose claim to fame has been the suggestion that, uh, that women discover, get in touch with, and nurture the inner B.I. itch. <laughs> um, as, as far as I'm concerned, this woman, she does not speak for me, and she does not speak for the women that I know and that I have talked to. Wait a and minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Roger Clinton says that you're a traitor because you, see, this woman is one of the leaders of the feminist movement and you are speaking out against her. Well, you're that's, a traitor. that's just tough. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, do these people have real jobs? 
or do they just sit around and they think up this stuff all day long? Well, listen, I was I was telling some people in Chicago over the weekend. You know, people ask me, how do you think this stuff happens? How do these people are always out protesting this, that, and the other thing? And I said, it's it's uh, you know somebody oh, I don't know what it was. Somebody came to somebody's house collecting, raising money for some uh, ecological uh, project, and. I said, you know, I've always wanted, I wish one of these people would come to my door. I would love to say, what do you do for a living? Where did you eat last night? And who paid for it? Mm -hmm. What kind of job do you, where do you get the money to go running around fleecing people? And worse off, is that money coming from one of those grants that my taxes are paying for? Well, of course it is, in most cases. Yeah, people like you and me, we're not used to... Uh, moving forward our political agenda with the protest march because we're too busy working. You're right, these people have way too much time on their hands. Yeah, I always get money's worth. <laughs> we're asking folks how they save money at Pizza Inn. You'd be surprised at how much you can save, especially when they have the manager specials. I get the specials all the time by the paper. Usually the manager specials is what we get. Enjoy the manager special at Pizza Inn. Medium pizza, choice of three toppings, for only $6.99. It's about as cheap as you can get it anywhere. We would eat here anyway, even if it wasn't on special. And the price ain't bad either. <laughs> Tell me, why do you like to save money? We're tighter than ticks. <laughs> You're filling two birds with one stone. You're saving money and getting the best pizza. The manager special, a medium pizza choice of three toppings for only six ninety nine. Compared to other places near town, it's a real good bag. Because you get your money's worth and the food is delicious and you can't get no better. For <laughs> pizza out, it's pizza in. And here's where to find the manager special. Enjoy the manager special at either Goldsboro Pizza Inn, 3009 East Ash Street, or Highway 70 Bypass East. WGBR, Goldsboro's very own. From ABC News, I'm Gary Nunn. New government figures show inflation slowing down to a crawl, and President Clinton, noting that, called on the Senate to pass his budget. Uh, I'm encouraged, uh, quite upbeat, by the uh, reports I've received from Senator Moynihan, uh, Senator Mitchell, and others about the progress uh, being made there, and I just want to encourage the Senate to move forward. At a White House press conference, news conference a couple of hours ago, the president was asked about the process. He nominated Judge Ruth Ginsburg to the Supreme Court, not Interior Secretary Babbitt or Judge Stephen Breyer. I strongly dispute that I hung them out. I regret the leaks. But it's not fair to say I hung them out. Any senator I talk to will tell you, and when I told to discuss Judge Breyer, I also said I've got someone else I'm looking at. Anybody will tell you that. I told Bruce Babbitt the first day I called him, I'm, I want to know if you agree to be considered. I don't know if the country can afford to lose you as Interior Secretary. The President also says a space station offers the U.S. a chance to continue its lead in space and technology, but he refuses to say whether he'll allow the project to go forward. Chairman Joseph Biden of the Senate Judiciary Committee says within a week he will set a date to begin confirmation hearings on the Ginsburg Supreme Court nomination. The makers of dietary supplements have government orders now to make sure claims made on their product labels are accurate. Bruce Silverglade of the group Center for Science and the Public Interest says, unfortunately, many bad products are crowding out the legitimate ones and are confusing people. On one hand, for example, you have uh, uh, vitamin supplements that are well based on, on sound scientific evidence, such as calcium supplements uh, that are linked to reducing the risk of osteoporosis. On the other uh, extreme, you have products like cell, uh, which are made from uh, ground up uh, prostate glands of uh, cattle, uh, and that promise uh, increased virility. Bruce Silverglade of the group Science for Public Interest says under the FDA's new proposals, companies will have a chance to prove that their products deserve the right to make health claims. You're listening to ABC News. 
saves money and energy at Sears Brand Central. Now through the 26th, a huge Kenmore 18 cubic foot top mount refrigerator is just $599.99. Save $30. A factory installed ice maker is only $29.99. Save $70 more. Or save $150 on a giant 22 cubic foot side by side with ice and water through the door, just $999.99. Both are 30% more energy efficient than similar models made three years ago. So get to Sears Brand Central. Prices may vary in Alaska, Y in Puerto Rico. Anti-lock brakes, head-up instrument display, onboard computer diagnostics, traction control. The smart car is here. It's getting smarter every year. And so is Mr. Goodrench. Mr. Goodrench has the advanced GM training and equipment to take care of GM's advanced technology. From computers that can reprogram your engine chip to laser-guided wheel alignment systems. So if your smart car or truck needs service, make the smart choice. Bring it to Mr. Goodrench, only at your GM dealer. The American Medical Association in a major policy change promises not to deny membership to homosexuals because of their sexual orientation. In Chicago today, Dr. Jonathan Clow, outgoing president of the AMA, points out the proposal has been turned down at least four times. The board spoke forcefully on this, as I did, and told them that uh, we are not condoning any lifestyle. We are merely changing the bylaws so that these individuals who are part of our AMA uh, would feel comfortable in the American Medical Association. And uh, these people were very pleased that we did this. Klaus says some delegates from southern states disagreed with the premise, feeling they would have problems with it back home. At the movies, the story is one word, dinosaurs. The film is Jurassic Park, which sold 10 million tickets for a record-setting $50.2 million, surpassing Batman Returns last weekend. Cliffhanger a second, made in America third. The Seattle Times is willing to take an advertising hit, saying it will no longer carry ads for cigarettes. Editors of the paper say such ads have almost no redeeming value, putting them in the same category as handguns, escort services, and X-rated movies. Tokyo and Osaka are indisputably the most expensive cities for foreigners spending dollars these days. Moscow moves to the fifth most costly city. Bombay, India is the cheapest. Wall Street, Dow Jones Industrials down 8.62 at 35.05. This is ABC News. Now, honestly, how much of your time each week is being wasted stuck in traffic? Well, if you spend some of that time with a National Dynamics Language Program, we'll have you speaking and understanding Spanish, French, Italian, German, or Japanese in 30 days. No books, no classes. Just our audio tapes in your home, car, or portable cassette player. Call this number today, 1-800-545-1985. That's 1-800-545-1985. Now really, how many bumper stickers can you read? For the ABC Information Network, I'm Gary Nunn. If you thought drinking and boating are supposed to go well together, it's time to think again. Bottoms up can have a deadly meaning when you combine boats and booze. Alcohol is a factor in one half of all boating deaths. That's a sobering thought. For boaters, alcohol and water aren't a good mix. And it's best to know before you go. A message from the United States Coast Guard and the National Safe Boating Council. We'll see a lot of sunshine coming more than yesterday. The high this afternoon, about 85 for most of you, and there will be a slight chance of a shower or a thunderstorm this afternoon. The chance of getting one is pretty slim, but there will be a couple of them rumbling around later today. Then tonight, partly cloudy, a risk of a shower, lows in the low to mid-60s. Again, just a couple of showers, though. Sunshine tomorrow and a little hotter. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. I'm Bill Schmidt at the Weather Center. Hi, this is Rush Limbaugh on your first information source, 1150 WGBR. Conversationalists all across the fruited plains. 
and members of an enlarged and growing frustrated group. Peter Vesey of NBC Sports told me Saturday, you know what you ought to do, you ought to, you ought to start referring to Clinton as interim president Clinton. Remember, a big time sports guy who you would figure to be a liberal media guy. I refer to Clinton as the interim president. I must admit it sounds good. It's hopeful. It's a hopeful term. This is a special edition of the Rush Limbaugh program, America Held Hostage. And now, from our studios in New York City, here is Rush Limbaugh. And of course, it means we have an interim presidential brother. It's day 147 of the Raw Stinking Rotten Deal. 1,313 raw, stinking, rotten days left. It's Tuesday. And Judge Ginsburg is still Bill Clinton's nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court. Yeah, I think. When was the last time we checked? Did you check this moments ago? We try to check every... Make a call. Make sure that she's still the nominee. She can vanish at any time. If there's one, one shred of controversy or anything that might make him look bad during her confirmation hearing, it's, you know, this is by no means a lock, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, news story, where did I appear? I've got so much here. I got a fax away from the Houston Chronicle. Hollywood types have moved in there. Ah, here we go. There's a case down there. Um, Texas death row inmate Gary Graham. A uh, bunch of people are seeking clemency for Gary Graham, who has pleaded innocent to um, a serious crime. Uh, more than a hundred angry people gathered in downtown Houston on Sunday to tell Hollywood types campaigning for clemency for death row inmate Gary Graham to get the facts or butt out. Go home and let us take care of our business, said State Senator Jerry Patterson, Republican Pasadena, as the crowd cheered his condemnation of the celebrity jury that has focused national attention on Graham's plea of innocence. This guy has recruited supporters, including Danny Glover, as spokesman. Other celebrities have shown up too, uh, Kenny Rogers, Farrah Fawcett, and they have all shown up to voice their belief in Graham's innocence. And protesters at this rally are so angry at the Hollywood types for invading Houston to try to tell them how they ought to think about things that they began destroying Kenny Rogers cassette tapes. Something's burning, do 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 do. Something's burning, do do do. something and I think it's my tapes it's very easy for them to fight for his release since it's unlikely he'll become their next door neighbor or become his next victim said Pam Leichner a victims rights advocate who organized the rally we live in the city to which he'll be released we are someone we know would likely become his next victim that's why we are gathered here today this guy has um, killed people, he's robbed people, and uh, he's been sentenced to die. Graham's been convicted of 10 aggravated robberies during a May 81 crime spree in Houston. In two of those, one victim was shot and a 57-year-old woman was raped. I mean, this guy sounds like the father of Willie Horton. And so here are Hollywood celebrities flying into town demanding... See, and, and the reason I bring this up to you is not for the obvious reasons. I want to go back to the L.A. mayor's race. You remember how surprised the press was that the people of L.A. would vote for a law and order guy? They're sick and tired of all of these people who don't live amongst others. They, they have these insulated lives lives of privilege they can sit there on their soapboxes and pontificate sound wonderful sound marvelous sound compassionate and sound caring 
then retreat behind their walls of protection into their huge estates, or better yet, even leave town to their walled estate somewhere out of town, and having accomplished nothing other than making themselves feel good. And this, this is such a poignant statement for the organizer of the rally to make, hey, you're not going to be living in the neighborhood this guy is paroled to. So, or released to. So get out of our neighborhood. We'll handle it ourselves. People just present these Hollywood. You know, I, I, I'll tell you something too. I'm going to take a little credit for this because I, I, I seldom do this. As you know, I seldom take credit for anything. But these, this, this Hollywood bunch, uh, they've, they've almost had a free ride uh, in the press. They always do have a free ride in the press. Uh, up until now, They're, they've got some problems in the Washington press because the Washington press is a little jealous of the Hollywood types. The Washington press doesn't have as much access as Streisand does, so they're a little jealous. But up until that, they were just, you know, they, they refused to criticize these people in the press too. Now all of a sudden they do. Who's been criticizing them for years? Moi. I. Yours truly. And I think people are finally uh, realizing that it's not that they don't have the right to speak. Anybody does. They're an American. But where is their accountability? Where is their credibility? What do these people know? They fly in from Hollywood. What do they know about what this guy did? What do they know about living amongst people like this guy, Grant? The soft on crime crowd is never going to be favored and understood nor appreciated. Well, they should. Ta da la, 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 ta da la. It has been a while since we have done an animal rights update, and there hasn't been a whole lot of animal news out there. We have a couple of interesting little animal tidbits, and so it's time. Whoa! tapes. I have watched a wildebeest slaughter at the hands of three crocodiles. There you have it. 
I've seen it. It's exactly what it sounds like. You ought to see what happens to a wildebeest herd when one crocodile nabs one wildebeest. It's a mass panic. It looks like any disaster movie that Irwin Allen ever made. Towering Inferno, doesn't matter. Earthquake. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we have in an animal rights? Yeah. Some of you people, by the way, may not understand this. You may be new to the show. Um, it, is, it is the view of the host of this show that animals have no rights. We don't have, they don't have rights in the sense that we discuss rights for ourselves. We do have a responsibility to treat animals uh, with, with humane, uh, 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 inhumane ways and, and with compassion. But not all animals are pets. And an animal cannot possibly have the right to be treated kindly because look at what they do to each other. They don't have any sense of this kind of thing. We do not believe on this show that animals are more pure than humans. We do not believe on this show that the world would be a better place without humans if only animals were allowed to roam free and only eat each other. Uh, we believe that the um, human species has superiority over all others and as such has responsibilities of management uh, and, and uh, compassion and care. But when we're talking about rights, and this may be a strict definition and a fine line that I'm drawing, but we talk about the right to free speech, or the, or the, the right to uh, this or that. Animals don't have that. Now, I realize this is tough because most of you have pets, big-eyed little dogs and cats, and you love them. They understand you, and you think that I'm sitting here saying, go ahead and be mean to them, but they don't care, they don't understand, they don't understand hurt. I'm not saying that at all. I am saying that there's a political agenda attached to the animal rights movement which seeks to devalue human life, to place animal life on a plane above human life, which seeks to say that humanity is not part of nature, humanity only plunders nature, and animal rights people at the extreme are as wacky as environmentalists at the extreme are and they are buffaloing a lot of people little pun there they're buffaloing a lot of people and contributing a lot of money uh, for a lot of things I believe in animal research I think it's prolonged human life uh, I don't think that we've caused a species to go extinct by uh, studying it and using them for research and so that's the context in which all this animal rights stuff takes place. I love animals. I have, you know, we have an official dog on Rush, the TV show, Jeb Stewart. And uh, I melt in the presence of uh, little beasts, little animals. I love it. I mean, I even want to go see Jurassic Park. I think I wouldn't mind having a pet uh, pterodactyl. Um, <clears throat> if you could, but you couldn't tame those things. They would eat us. What, what about our rights? I can just see some guy being swallowed by a dinosaur in his movie. Hey, I have a right not to be... Bye-bye. By the way, you know, don't take your kids to see this movie if they're real, real young. Spielberg is not letting his kids see it. Do you know why? I mean, dinosaurs gobble people up in this movie. It's different. You got plenty of notice that it's going to happen. I mean, it's not just going to come at you out of the blue. You have plenty of notice. And plus... One dinosaur, I think T-Rex, just totally gobbles a huge steer, and you hear the chewing. You don't see this, but you, you hear the chewing. <laughs> so, now, yeah, I'll send you to the popcorn stand. Here, put extra butter on mine. All right, let's get to these animal rights updates. They're both from London. First off, a woman has a pet rat. Obviously, she lives in a section of London, much like um, Hell's Kitchen here in New York. And you better look at it as a pet or you're going to go stir crazy. They just happen to share the building with you. And so you call them your pet. This woman has a pet rat. And she was fined recently. $120 and ordered to uh, spend 575 oh, wait a minute, and ordered to pay, I have a very good fax copy here, $75 in court costs for leaving Ziggy the rat for six days without water and only a tiny piece of cheese. 
She says, I didn't really actually abandon him. I had no choice because I'm homeless. Well, they look the other way. When you're homeless, you get away with anything. You have the right to do it because it's Reagan's fault. Uh, and so Ronald Reagan and the last 12 years of Reagan and Bush, even though Reagan and Bush did not govern in Britain, uh, Reagan and Bush were successfully blamed for A, this woman's homelessness, and then by association, this rat almost dying with just a bare morsel of cheese. What a kind of an idiot rat is this? When's the last time you heard of a rat that starves? Rats will eat anything. Rats will eat your faucet. Rats will, will gnaw on your bathtub. And have you ever heard of a rat that can't get out of somewhere? Would be that all rats were this stupid, we wouldn't have a rat problem. You imagine having a pet rat, you leave in a room and it sits there and doesn't disturb or destroy anything? We ought to find this rat and, and clone it. And it'll make this rat the king of the rat jungle so that all rats are as benign and stupid as this one is. Animal rights number two, this from Maidenhead, England. This is another case of animal desertion. A man left his fish home alone for two weeks, but he was cleared of abandoning them. David Sherrod, 31, criticized the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals for bringing the charges. He called it a total waste of time. He walked free after he produced a book written by a Royal Society expert that said it was okay and safe to leave fish home alone for up to two weeks. You realize there are people who have actually conducted studies. It, no, it was, it was, well, yeah, the Royal Society was in a fish atlas. How to treat fish home alone. You leave them home for two weeks. It's all right. It's no problem. The society argued that he abandoned the South American sucking loach and sucking pleck for three days in October when he left his home in Maidenhead to run a pub for a friend. This guy is in more trouble for leaving these fish than people who would do worse things to human beings around the world. Look at, look at the attention, look at the time, look at the money, look at the moral judgments made against people. Can you imagine being called anything rotten or bad for abandoning a rat? A scumbag, scuzzy, filthy, disease-carrying, absolutely get-it-out-of-my-life rat, and some government wants to put you in jail for that? Whoa! It's timely, it's informative, it's interesting, it's educational, it's enlightening, it is educational. Did I say educational? I said edu it's educational. It's all of these things and more. What? Oh, pray you ask, do I refer to? I refer to the conservative chronicle. As you know, a charter advertiser of the Rush Limbaugh program, you are conservative. Even if you're not conservative, even if you're liberal and you want to know the heart of conservatism, that's the conservative chronicle because every conservative newspaper columnist and thinker published in America today is published in compendium form every week in the conservative chronicle. This is it. This is the only source to find out what all of these brilliant thinkers think. Opinion based with fact is unstoppable when it comes from conservatives. The Conservative Chronicle gets 39 bucks a year for 52 issues every year. 800-888-3039 is the number. That's 1-800-888-3039. Call them now.
I've just discovered something amazing. The newest and most advanced razor ever made from Panasonic. They call it the Smooth Operator 2 Wet-Dry Razor with Float Control. It has two independent floating heads that hug the contour of your face. And best of all, you can use this Smooth Operator 2 dry like a conventional electric or in the shower with water and lather so you get a blade close shave without irritation. This is the fastest, closest, most comfortable shave in Panasonic history. It's the new Panasonic Smooth Operator 2 with float control. And you've got to try to believe it. We're making a list of good points and bad points of owning a swimming pool from Atlantic Pool and Spa of Goldsboro. First, the good points. A pool is a great investment. It increases the value of your home. It's a great exercise. Swimming gets you in shape and helps you stay in shape. A swimming pool is aesthetically pleasing and calming. Picture yourself relaxing by the pool after a long day. Not to mention, it's a tremendous amount of fun. And now the bad points. Well, there, uh, this, uh, it... Uh, there you go. No reason to wait. Call Atlantic Pool and Spa today about an underground or above ground pool featuring Fort Wayne pools. Atlantic Pool and Spa not only sells but services as well, offering water testing, advice on what you need, and other stuff. They've got a complete line of chemicals to make your pool safe and clean. And Atlantic Pool and Spa can repair anything that has anything to do with the pool except the water. Atlantic Pool and Spa is on the service road off Highway 70 bypass between Wayne Memorial Drive and William Street by your pool from a dealer who knows what he's doing. Offering excellent service for 18 years, Atlantic Pool and Spas, 580-1111. Ever wished you could find a car dealer who would give you fair prices and courteous service? Ever heard of courtesy Buick GMC truck Mercedes in Goldsboro?